Hi, welcome to Storytime. Um, I've got a book here by Dr. Seuss. Oh, say, can you say? Let's see what we can do with this one. These are all tongue twisters, so this should be kind of fun. Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. It might. I'm going to take it a little slow. Yes, I am. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish. French fried. Oh, good heavens. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finney fries. Holy cow. That's a lot of F's. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin Blin shin bone pin, Blin pins Din's shin bones right back in. That's a cool dinosaur bones, huh? Yeah. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading. Or that bread spreader sure's going to butter his bedding. Oh my goodness. That one made me cross eyed. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. Easy for him to say. You should leave your grocks home when you travel by air. If you take them along, they charge double the fare. And your grocks must be packed and locked up in a grocks box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for groxes. He's kind of cute. He's blue, huh? And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble? Or a single shingle. Well, I wouldn't want to say that three times fast. A simple thimble could cost less than a single, single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. There he is. That one was hard, too. What the heck? Uh, if you like to eat potato chips... And chew pork chops on clipper ships. I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zip's Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. Boy, I hope so. Look at that. That's quite a clipper ship, isn't it? Very cool. There are so many things that you really should know. And that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first name of the Fudnuddler brothers who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace and Hendrix and Hud. And then come Dinwoody and Dinty and Dud. Also Fitzsimmon and Frederick and Fudd and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud. And down at the bottom... His poor little Lud. 
But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Look at all those guys. <laughs> oh, We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack, quack, our black duck quickly quack, quacks back. The quacks, blue quacks, make her quite a quacker. But black is a quicker quacker backer. My goodness. That was tough. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, oh, say, can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> <laughs> upon an island hard to reach, the east beast sits upon his beach. Upon the west beach sits the west beach beast. Each beach beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the east was best and the west was worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east, and I liked the beast on the east beach least. Good heavens. Yeah. It's a tough one. Pete Pat's Pigs. Pete Briggs Pat's Pigs. Briggs Pat's Pink Pigs. Briggs Pat's Big Pigs. Don't ask me why. It doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig Big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs pink pigs big pigs pig pen. Ho, 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 ho. That was a lot of peas. Fritz needs Fred, and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred, and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when Fred has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz, Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. Good. Good night. <clears throat> well, the glots you will notice has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on a glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. Clots. So you first have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. They look the same to me. What do you think? I think they're the same. They look pretty. Yeah, they're impressive. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap? Or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapped jack cap? Or, if you think you don't like cops' caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cooks' caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. There he is. Huh. That's cute. It's quite a hat. Excuse me. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his working his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins, who, tucking twin instruments under two chins, lull their daddy to sleep with the twin Blynn violins. Wow, that's pretty cool. And... 
Oh, say, can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-stringed, tin Schwinn mandolin. Wow. That's something, in it? Whew. Rope, soap, hoop soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. Oh, good heavens. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper Super Soup Off Hoops Soak Suds. I think I'm getting better at these. What do you think? Merry Christmas Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch. But I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch much, much. Yeesh. That doesn't look very good, does it? It's mush, all right. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim swim fins. Sounds terrific. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night... The gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. Whew. I didn't know if I was going to make it through that one. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus, walrus with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? One more. We've got this. The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the dark drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. Woo. Well, I had fun reading that. I hope you had fun listening to it. That was a tough one. <laughs>